not in cahoots. And in this country and world, in towering Wall Street, John Hurst was a 12-year-old living in New York when Wall Street crashed in 1929. Okay. Today he works as a broadcaster and is still haunted by the memory of what followed in the wake of the crash. I grew up as a child in modest circumstances in, the, in, the, in what were known as the Roaring Twenties. That was the epoch of the flappers, the uh, Charleston. Cocktails had been invented and were regarded as very classy. At that time, I recall delivering flowers, and I did glimpse the rich uh, briefly. Uh, I, they, they were the ones who did not tip. People were supposed to have become very, very rich. One day, they began to reassure us on the radio and tell us that, well, there had been a bump in the road. That bump in the road turned out to be the Wall Street crash of October 24th, 1929. The greatest stock market crash ever. As a child, I remember that when the banks closed and people lined up in the streets waiting for them or trying to get their money and being turned away. There was a great boiling debate. There were hearings in Congress. What had happened? Where had all this money vanished? And who had gotten it? It, it was a time of uh, turbulence and confusion. The experience of the great crash is simply unforgettable. I was one of those who became rather desperately poor as a, as, as a boy. I left town and uh, traveled across the country looking for work. I roamed and rambled and I followed my footsteps in the sparkling sands of her diamond deserts. And all one day I made, I think, 20 cents uh, working uh, and, and never getting quite enough to eat. I think I would usually have two bowls of bean soup a day or something like that. And uh, uh, I, I can't face bean soup to, to this day. An experience like that marks you. And I think that it was an experience, although I would not recommend it to anybody, uh, that, that my fellow journalists lack. I mean, they can never understand the difference. Uh, well, the feeling one has, or the empathy one has, about the, the poverty that afflicts half of mankind today, and, uh, and, and, and it never can get out of my mind. If this land was made for you and 